My friends, welcome back to Skyrim Life as a ranger. Fiendel here is still a bit wounded. It's okay, my friend. Today we're taking it easy. There's no more adventures or slaying bandits today. Hopefully, we won't get into too many fights. We've been slaughtering great numbers of bandits, protecting these lands day in, day out. I think we've deserved a small break. This guy over here has the right idea. This fisherwoman here. I take it you've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Here's some fishing supplies here. Actually, this might be a freebie that I'm going to take. For today, my friends, we're going to be doing a bit of hunting and fishing with Fiendel and Sweet Roll here. As I said, we've been uh, slaying bandits, monsters, beasts, protecting these lands. This is going to serve as not only replenishment of our supplies and our rations, but also as a little holiday of sorts around the Lake Illinolta area. Do some hunting, some fishing, chill out a bit. Maybe fill some water skins, make some mountain flower teas and such. Maybe even some snowberry extracts, if we can get some snowberries. This will also serve as a great instruction to Fiendel here on how to butcher and uh, field dress an animal, although I'm sure he's already aware of how to do that. So I'm going to leave this fisherman in peace here. They seem to be uh, on their own downtime, warming by the fire. Fantastic. Which we will be doing ourselves at the night. For now, the water is cool and refreshing, but come nightfall, it shall become frigid. Or at least a little bit colder. So we're going to uh, get a nice little campsite going, maybe somewhere on the uh, the western bank, perhaps, near the Half Moon Mill. As long as one of us keeps an eye open in the night for the vampires. <laughs> oh no, it's another uh, afflicted fella. Maybe I should really help these guys out. I see these all across the land, these diseased and afflicted guys. Do you know what? I'm going to help you out. Finished no, my friend, I want a, a way to help you. That's my job. Attack me. Are you ill? I, I have potions of healing. I can give you potions. Dead from this plague a year ago, if not for Periite's protection. Per Wait, parrots protecting you, or are they the one diseasing you? Where are you going? Returning to High Rock. Our shepherd lost his way, and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those who. Okay. Kesh could tell you more. I just went out of Skyrim as quickly well, as possible. Well, I, I, I bid you farewell, friend, and I, I hope you, I hope you become well. Maybe you'll find what you're looking for in High Rock. Maybe the mages there in High Rock can heal you or something. But let's see if we can spot any game across the water here, because I'm sure. Many deer and elk like to come to these parts to sip greatly from the uh, the lake here, the, the crisp waters. Let's go this way. I'm not above eating some slaughterfish, which will be easy to catch once we lure them in with our delicious toes. <laughs> Why not? <sighs> oh, there's probably a, oh, there's got to be like a bear. Should we eat bear? Let's hunt a bear. There's also another hunter over there camping. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll uh, share their fire with us and allow us to pitch a tent in that little island over there. That'll be a safe place to sleep. There is normally a bear around these parts, so I am going to be careful here. I'm not above eating bear. Oh, I think that le leads to a necromancer cave. Oh, I'm on a holiday. I can't be diving back into action. This is my break. But I am going to unlock it on my map just so I can remember where it is. We still have to clear that other place out near Folk Reef, the other necromancer place. Yeah, Brittleshin Pass is... Uh, There's a cave here. Check it out. Oh my friend, I'm I'm honestly I'm I'm loving your enthusiasm, but there is oh there's there snowberries here. Yes, this one would. I'm loving your enthusiasm, friend, but you know we we need to take some downtime here. Okay, we'll, we'll sort them out later. I like the energy though, friend. Oh, it's not a game, but Listen, you leave Sweet Roll alone, you damned bull wolf. I'm gonna take your uh, pelt though. I have no arrow back going into sneak mode though in case there is a deer oh there's look at that up there there's our game now do you think I could one shot it from across here I think I could before it runs off let's get it right there come on boom down okay that's our game for today that's the hunt we shall find a place to field dress it preferably away from the uh the sunken fortress here. I don't know who or what resides here, and I am now drenched as well. I'm dripping with water. By the gods. Sorry, here's our game. Okay, this will be a fine place to field dress on this rock here. Yeah, I don't want to deal with whatever this is today, this fortress. Right, yeah, this is a fine place to field dress. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get our arrow back first, though. We can indeed. Brilliant. And now we field dress. We have no hunting knife though, so I think the pelt quality is going to be pretty poor today. We need to get ourselves a hunting knife or a skinning knife. Yeah, ruined pelt. We can turn that into leather strips at the very least. Be good for nothing else. Right, half his ingredients. 
Look, Fendor, we rangers, we use every piece of the animal. These large antlers, also the large animal bone can make uh, caches for us, or caches for us to store weapons, supplies, food and such. For other rangers, and obviously the meat, of course, provides sustenance as always. And some animal fat as well, brilliant. Well, there's the uh, completely used up deer, so let's dispose of that. There we are. There we are, that's a, that's a whole elk hunted. That'll keep us sustained for a while. Okay, let's find a place to make camp and then we'll do a bit of fishing. Do you know what? Maybe I will go to that other island with a fire over there and set my own tent. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they... Oh, there's mud crabs. Stay back. Don't let me do it. Come on, mud crabs. Stay back. Come on, buddy. My little short sword here. That'll do the job against the mud crabs. Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh. We're getting wet again. What was that? Slaughterfish? No, it's not. But it's little fish. These are, these are not much good for eating, actually. I'm going to leave the, them ones be. There's the half moon mill. Maybe we should actually yeah, keep going west to make camp, perhaps. The ranger can use everything, even these dragonflies here. Where's Fendel? He needs to learn this stuff. Oh, there's another deer there. I'm going to leave that one be. I'm not going to overhunt. I've hunted all I need to today. That one will last me a, a long while. Oh, what's this? Is this a little shack? I've not seen this before. Okay. I don't think I've actually ever seen this before. Oh, it's another little ranger's uh, hideout place. Ooh. Okay. Is this a, this is a off the map? Yeah, this is an unmarked ranger location. That's well hidden. We can make, we can make shelter here, I suppose, if we really needed to. If there's a storm or something brewing. Huh, I'm kind of cool that I stumbled on that. I actually didn't know that was there at all. I like that they've added uh, unmarked locations as well with the, the Ranger's Cabin mod. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. That's nicely hidden. I had to walk right up to it before I could see it, so... Brilliant. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what they've got in there again. They've got some arrows and such. We can always use more arrows. Armor piercing Broadhead. Yeah, never be wanting for arrows again. This is just going to be the same like that as we read before. Okay, this letter actually makes more sense being in this, uh, being in this one, because this is, I was wondering what you meant, but, because that, that same letter was in the, um, Folk Reef Ranger's Cabin, wasn't it? Back in the second episode, and he was like, oh, sorry, I had to hastily throw this up, and I was like, this is a well-built cabin, but it actually makes sense that it, the letter actually belongs here, so I don't know, maybe the letter just got accidentally duplicated, but that letter makes way more sense being in this one, because this is definitely hastily put up, and is indeed hidden as well from bandits. Okay, there's even a little table here. We could lay down a uh, fire and a bedroll if we really needed to. We've got a tent on us, though, so we can just use that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fantastic. Right, anything else we need from here? There's more heavy bows. There's a bunch more bows. I'm not going to take them, though. That's fine. Cool, a nice little find there. Let's continue on our way. This can be shelter. Yeah. The sun is beginning to set. Dusk is upon us, so... We can't find a good spot. That cabin will work. That will do the job. There's another spot here, but it's again, take... Oh! Vandal? Oh, okay, it's just a mud crab. Okay, you got me scared there for a second. I'm glad you're using your new dagger, though, friend. We need to get you healed up, buddy. We need to get you healed up, at least by next episode. We'll, we'll be jumping back into the action, friend. Hello, friend! Do you mind if we uh, stop along? You haven't even got a fire. Maybe we can build a fire for you. Oh, no, you got a fire there. Maybe I can light the fire for you, friend. And perhaps share its warmth. I have a tent of my own. And actually, it's pretty temperate enough. I don't even think I'll need a tent. Okay, this will make... Uh, this, will be, yeah, this will be a fine place to make camp. It's a little bit... Maybe up here, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. That'd be fine. I'm sure the uh, the fishermen will be happy to have my company slash protection. If but for one night. Let's go check. There's no, nothing else down here. Okay, this is the uh, guards here as well. Okay, this is the fine place to make camp. That'll be on the Folk Reef border. Very nice. Let's get this fire lit, shall we, friend? Do I have a torch on me? I do indeed. Let's get this nice and lit. Just by giving it a little whack. There we are. Job's good. May as well take the time to get myself dry while I'm here. I've been splashing about in the lake today. There, I'm completely dry, bro. That's what I want to see. Completely dry. Let's pitch our tent. We could do it here, but it's a bit sloped. It's up nice and uh, level up here. My tent is small enough. Uh, that'll be a good place, but then I don't want the smoke entering my tent. 
Can we be up there? That would be pretty cool as well. Right, let's do it now. Let's do it here. Let's do it here. Buy this shrub. I think my tent is definitely small enough. Let's pop it down. Let's uh, place that there. There, just about. <laughs> just about. There we That'll do for now. <laughs> that would never work as a tent placement in real life. <laughs> We've got nice fire brewing. We've got food. Oh, I do have a cooking pot. I don't think I have a cooking pot. No, I do have a cooking pot. Let's lay that down by the fire. Make some delicious eats tonight. Do you know what? I'll even cook something for the, uh, the good old hunter there. Is this close enough to be uh, to start being used? Let's do it right between, between this rock here. Let's place that cooking pot there. And we should be... Uh, there's no fire. Oh, let's go. What? That's a fire right there. That's, that's a burning fire. Come on, what are you on about? Look, Fender's using it. <laughs> How can you can do that? What magics have you got that I haven't that you can use that? I was wondering right it wasn't glowing gold. Does it really want me to make my own fire? Just to... It's not registering this fire, but it was but I, it made my clothes dry, so it The fire was working. Right, instead. We can't even interact actually yeah, we can't interact with this either. Right, I think we, have to, we might have to make our own fire at the end anyway. That's okay, we'll chop some wooden what not? We'll build, uh, keep that one there. We'll build another one. Well, for that, we're gonna need some firewood, so we may as well chop down this tree. Just, let's first lay down our campfire placement first. It should be far enough away from the wit any winds or whatever to uh, be nicely lit. Place there. And we're gonna need two. Yeah, we need some firewood. Or at least some deadwood first, that's okay. Let's come back to this tree. Let's harvest some wood. Let's chop dead. Okay, chop dead wood. That'll do. Oh, Fendel found one extra piece of dead wood. That's brilliant. Thank you, friend. Awesome. That's five right there. Let's do some more. I need at least seven for a nice roaring fire. There we are. That'll do. Fendel found two more pieces. Is that in your inventory then, or do I gather that myself? Yeah, 12. Yeah, he gave it to Okay, that's awesome. You companions get uh find a few extra pieces. Brilliant. And it is getting very dark now, so let's get this fire lit. Get this stew roaring. Like strike stone. I'm sure Fendel already knows how to strike a fire. I hope you're not a lull to the green pact. Well, actually, to be fair, if he is, that only that only applies to Vanwood anyway, not to uh, the forest of Skyrim. So that's fine with me. Let's uh, get a roaring fire. Let's get a roaring fire, Fendel. Come on, we deserve it. We deserve it. So we can make venison chops. We can sear, make seared, uh, seared fat hawker loaves. Got a bunch of hawker. Yeah, let's make some hawker loaves. These are always good to have. Filling meals. Fantastic. Do you know what, Hunter? I'm going to leave you, or Fisherman, I'm going to leave you a nice hawker loaf here. Okay, you've earned it for allowing me to use your uh, humble campsite here. This will fill. Look at that. That's like a. That, oh my word. I imagine this is like a very fatty piece of meat as well, because the uh, hawkers have so much blubber on them to survive the cold, frigid north. So I imagine it's like a nice piece of moist brisket or something. Oh no, please! Sorry, it got a bit wet there. It's okay. I'll leave you a nice little piece of brisket there. Right, let's... Uh, I think we should probably just go to sleep, right? Come morning, we'll uh, move on our way. Head back to Falkroof, perhaps. Or maybe even do a bit of fishing in the morning. We're going to need to eat and drink anyway. So, yeah, let's do some fishing in the morning. Like, fire leaves you feeling inspired. Fantastic. Brilliant. Do you know what? Actually, let's enjoy this for a bit, shall we? Let's, um... Let me sit on this log for a bit and just, just con Oh wait, no, we need, to, we need to pray as well. I need to I keep forgetting to pray. We must. We must pray to Kine. Pay with the Kinrath. Okay, so we're still under 70% right now. It's slowly increasing. Do you know what I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit next to this uh fisherman. Let's discuss over a nice piece of brisket. Our our current lives. Oh yes. Feet dangling over the edge. You know, we could always use uh, the expertise of hunters and fishermen in the ranges, you know. We need stewards to provide meat and fish and game. And all of us uh, have to be out ranging all the time. Sure, actually, that would make a lot of sense for a guild to have... A ranger guild to have the, the warriors and then the hunters as well, who, whose sole purpose is to... Because they, they would also range across the lands, but, but to, to get game and fish instead of uh, instead of killing enemies, you know, fighting. They would be, you know, placed around the guild hall areas or the cabin areas. And they wouldn't range out too far, ever. They would just kind of. But this this would be perfect for the the folk reef guild because then they just come here, hunt and fish, and return with the the plunder, with the game back to the uh, the guild hall. 
We've got Fiendel there, warming himself by the fire. Well deserved. Sweet roll. I think in the morning you deserve a nice sweet roll for breakfast. I'm just going to sit here for a while under the stars with my new friend here. You're always welcome to stop by the Guildhall and Folk Reef. Everyone's welcome. Every good person, every good soul's welcome to the Rangers Guild. I think that said, though, I think I'm going to get up and uh, get myself some sleep. We'll pray, eat and drink in the morning. Fendel, feel free to sleep under the stars if you wish. Or you could take the tent. I'm going to take the first little sleep, though. Let's sleep for... Let's get a good eight hours in. There are camping perk progress increase, and our fire is still going, even after eight hours, because it is a roaring fire. Oh, we should be getting back to Falk Reef probably by sunrise. I only want to get Fendel healed up as well. We're not going to go on any other excursions until Fendel's back at full health. I might have to get some healing hands on him, you know. Oh, and here's our mountain flowers as well. Oh, can we make a mountain flower tea? Because now a nice cup of tea in the morning would be would go down well right now. Stand aside, Fendel. I need to put down this cooking pot, brother. Please, I beg you, man. That's got to, that's got to, come on, that's got to be usable. Yes, it is. Oh no, that wasn't that. Was, that wasn't using the cooking pot. That was using the fire. Sure, actually, let's test out our ranger instincts for once. I've never used this before. Oh, okay. So I can sense. Oh, I can sense look over there. That's pretty cool. Is that more mountain flower? That is. That's actually pretty cool. I should be using that more as a thistle. Oh, I should really be using my ranger senses a bit more here. What have we got? This is pretty damn cool. So I can see people as well. Like, very slightly shimmering. But I can also see, uh, like, little herbs and things. That's pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. I should really be using these uh, abilities a bit more. It kind of makes you feel like a slightly bit more like a ranger. Sure, let's test out some foraging as well while we're here. Uh, edible insect, edible root, large animal bone, red mountain flower. Okay, more mountain flowers. So we, that's, that's a... Foraging is great as well. Let's do some more foraging. Fail to forage anything of use, okay. So we've got an edible insect. So this would be like if I was down bad, starving. Stamina, yeah, okay. Edible root as well. I just ate an insect. I ate, I ate a bug. Uh, you've learned from experience foraging in the wild. You feel as though you're improving. Okay, so I just really be doing a bit more. Oh, that's so cool. I need to be using these skills more. Of course, we need to pray once again. It's been eight hours, so let's pray. I'm hungry. Oh, no, 71.5. Brilliant. Our oh, favor is definitely increasing now. I wonder if we can make tea using primitive cooking. Strange brew we can make, but no flower tea. What did I do in... Um, I made a bunch of flat mountain flower teas in, in my Life as an Alchemist series. I can't remember how I did that now. As a ranger, we also have innate powers in sensing direction and weather as well. So let's do our um, sense direction. I'm facing west. There we are. I didn't, didn't really need that, but... If I was to do a run with... Actually, maybe I should start doing that. Maybe I should start removing my compass and just doing... Yeah, like doing... That job. I should I should actually do that, you know. You know what? People have been asking for this to be a bit harder, so I have upped the difficulty and I've also removed my HUD and crosshairs. So I wonder if this is gonna make my archery a touch harder as well, because there is no crosshair now, so I need to kind of practice my bow a bit more, I think, these days. Yeah, yeah, let's see how that works out for us. So now we can actually sense direction, because we're not gonna be able to Oh, can I sense direction please? Oh, but because I removed so it removes the text as well. That sucks. I can't even use the power now. What's the point of having the power if I need to have the HUD to, do, to use it? Yeah, so the text that says, um, it says the direction you're facing is it, part of the HUD. And so is the compass. But I kind of want it to remove the compass. There's got to be a way to remove just the compass. I'm going to get a, Maybe there's a mod for that. Well, there's definitely going to be a mod for that. So maybe by next episode I'll get that sorted. Because that would be really cool just to use it purely based on uh, the power of sensing. Speaking of sensing, I have weather sense as well, so you are warm, the air is warm. Brilliant. Okay, that's a perfect time to head out, I think. Get to Falk Reef come morning. Four. I am going to quickly eat some food, though, including one of those hawker loaves. Now we're nice and full, and let's drink a water skin. And let's get the rest of them filled up here. Actually, we may as well boil them while we're here as so well, using the fire. Let's get those filled up with river water. Let's get those cleansed. Uh, I just have to use the cooking pot, do I? Come on, brother. Don't do this to me, brother. Place cooking pot. Use cooking pot. The fire's not hot enough. What? It never is, apparently. What is this What is this mess? Let's just put this fire out. There we are. Your fire's been out as well. You're not going to light that? 
Okay, I'll leave you in peace now, Hunter. Enjoy that brisket. I'm heading back to Folk Reef. That was our holiday. Testing out some new powers and things. But since we are in the woods, why not do some more foraging? Do some foraging on our way back to Folk Reef. Uh, with your approach. Oh, I can now choose. I can forage firewood or anything. Let's just do that. I have to forage anything of use, okay. Let's go find a nice wooded area to do some foraging, I think. Oh, hello there, rabbit friend. Or hare friend. Oh, there's mountain flowers there. Nice. I'm going to make some mountain flower tea once I get to the base because they've got a cooking pot that I know I can use there. That I can pour my water on, on as well. Let's do some more foraging. Anything. You found some mud? You found some mudcrab sign. Maybe one. Oh, okay. So you also find game sign as well. There is indeed a mudcrab nearby there. Didn't need to use the power for that though. That's okay. This is where we were camping at the start. Yeah, our old camp's down here, isn't it? It is indeed. We went to hunt the orc. Fantastic. Oh, I think sucked off there. <laughs> I also remember that the glades here as well, and I want to ignore the uh, edible mushroom. Edible berry. Ooh, we've had a bunch of stuff there. Let's ignore the forest guardians. Leave them in peace. Oh, yeah, I can tell there's going to be some forageables down here. There's got to be. Uh, once again, I need firewood. Edible, another edible mushroom. Cool. Hawk feathers. Orange dart wing. That's like a little dragonfly type thing. Cool, I'm going to see what that edible berry is, actually, while I'm here. Edible berry. It looks just like a snow berry. Edible mushrooms. Cool. We've got so much food in us. We're never going to go hungry at this point. Speaking of shrooms, there's a bunch of shrooms here. I'll be taking these, my good friends. Make some teas or something out of those, and healing teas. I'm also going to investigate the caves around here, just to get them unlocked. Give me some edible stuff. Edible insects. So I've got a bunch of animal bones now from hunting. I need to uh, get rid of them. Throw them in the pond there. In the murky pond. It would be nice if the forged, forged stuff did stuff, you know, did hunger points instead of just stamina. Because then you could actually live off of it and not starve to death. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. Hello there, friends. We've returned. Mm. Before the sun has risen, even. I need to take uh, my friend. I need to take you out on the on the hunt with me, my friend. Good Maybe you could teach Fender a thing or two. You're both wood elves. Right, let's get our waters boiled, and then we're gonna have to face the yarl. I think. Reports are here that we have indeed killed all, uh, all the bandits that he wanted us to kill. A bunch of torches there. This is locked again. Why, why haven't I got a key to this joint? This is my freaking house. I have to pick the lock of my own my own joint. It's expert as well, which doesn't make my damned life easy. Bloody hell, can I get into this freaking place? I just want to boil some water. There we are. Right, so you need a, you need a sweet roll. Here, give me, give me, let me give you a sweet roll. Um, I, I don't know what the collar does for um, sweet roll. I can remove it and put it back on. I'm not sure if it gives me any buffs or anything. Right, let's get our waters uh, boiled, shall we, quickly? Right, here is the pot. The seemingly only pot that I can use to boil water. Yeah, there we are. I can do it here. So I wonder why I couldn't lay down my pot, my fire. And here's a snowberry tea that I wanted to make. And a mountain flower tea. This is what I wanted to make at the campfire. I thought it was a nice cup of tea in the morning. Too much to ask. I had to come all the way back here. That's all I wanted to do. Man, they made a mess of this place again. Apples everywhere. Come on. These rangers, man. They're, they've spent too much time living off the land. They don't know what civilization is anymore. Well, I'm sure the Jarl is waiting for our valiant return on this foggy morn. I'm going to turn in this quest with him, and I'm going to do nothing else for the time being for him. Until I can at least find a way of possibly uh, deposing him or something. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But I hate this Jarl. He's definitely corrupt. I'm not going to do any more dirty work for him. Uh, deliver weapon, gather ore, fugitive in the rifts. Retrieve heirloom. Nah, nothing good for us as a ranger right now. There is indeed, though, more mountain flowers. I'm going to drink my cup of tea before meeting the yard. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need this cup before meeting this damned bastard. I ain't, uh... I ain't got the patience to face him right now without a cup of tea. There we are. It warms you up as well. Let's enter this long house. Look at him lounging back without a care in the world where others do his dirty work. He sits there feasting on the finest meats. Drinking the ale with the, the protection of the Imperial Legion. Damn him! Look at this. What's he got in here? We should rob him blind of his of his belongings. I think that'd be fun. Right, I've done your damn dirty work. Yes. What is? Kill the leader of Embershard. Them to stop paying me. Here, damn. 
You deserve you sick a reward me. for your service. Your tail? You your tail? Well, that's a lot of gold, though. Like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. Well, that's the last of it. I promise you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Okay. Talk to my steward if you're interested. My, I ain't doing anything else for you. Come and Nothing see me else. again sometime. I have per your permission for property. <laughs> he obviously doesn't know about the ranger cabins. <laughs> We've been vibing on your land this whole time, my friend. Ain't nothing you can do to stop us. Let's get out of here. Right, well that was a nice little break in the woods there. We've done some foraging, a bunch of hunting, uh, and kind of practiced our little ranger abilities there, which we should be doing more of. Especially that cool, um, where is it? That was it, instincts. Let's use that again. Yeah, this thing here. Well, it's just showing me that people are around. That's okay. But okay, there's showing me this stuff as well, which I don't really have what that to do. But it's cool anyway. It just, you know, a little bit more ranger-ness. I've always liked, yeah, I always liked rangers. I played a ranger in D&D &D and I always liked um, how they're not really magical. They have very light magic abilities, which I've always enjoyed. Like, they're not OP mages that can, like, cast destruction magic and crazy cataclysmic spells. But they can do, like, light healing and this kind of weather sense stuff, and they can, I used to like detect the weather for my party in D&D &D and stuff. Which is always cool and fun, just for like little RP reasons, you know, nothing too crazy. But uh, it runs for Aragorn a little bit, how he has kind of the healing, that he, those healing hand abilities. How he could kind of, he, he could actually use like a little bit of elvish healing, almost elvish healing as a ranger. Maybe that's just a Dunedain thing, or a Numenorian thing, I'm not sure. But anyway, kind of cool. Right, well, we've got clear out Greywater Grotto. We've got to find that sword. Bandit, another bandit leader at Redoran's Rest. Companions want to deal with us as well. I think they know our abilities and want our help. Uh, but there's a bunch of other stuff around the land as well that we can get up to. Oh, the earth is up there as well. It looks like a vampire. That's, oh, that's a vampire. There's that vampire place. Yeah, that's vampires up there. We should probably deal with them at some point. Also, the, necromant the necromantic cave over that way. Where the Necromage killed the Vigilant Stendhal. We need to clear that out as well. That's on our bucket list. And there are, of course, other greater evils out there. We should probably also look about ranging a bit further than White right now. Because we've been up this way. We have... Oh, also Rorik said, of course. We've got a new uh, apprentice there. That we're going to need to start teaching soon. But also, we've not been anywhere up here yet at all. So, so I'm, I'm sure at some point we're going to go to the Frigid North as well. That'll be fun. I already put our Ranger abilities to the test. Riften as well. There's loads of stuff here. Everyone needs our help across the lands. There's death, decay, there's beasts, there's horrible beings to deal with. And of course, I want to make a guild at some point as well to further increase our ranger ranks and our numbers. And by next episode, I'm actually also going to figure out a way to get rid of most of my stuff. I want to give it away. Um, so there was, a, there, was, there was a mod that I had back in um, Old Rim that I could give food to people. Because I'm just like overfilled right now with like, food and supplies. I want to travel a bit lighter. But uh, I'm sure I'll do, I'll do the inventory management before next episode, I'm sure. But for now, my friends, I think I'm going to leave you here. This was a bit more of a chill one, not much action at all. Uh, I just wanted to kind of do a bit of hunting and fishing, resupply, a bit more of an RP-focused uh, ep. And, of course, those cool little ranger abilities that we tested out. Well, we can sense things. Look at that, yes. We see the deep colours of the forest. We see the very essence of people and things. Which is pretty cool. So I'm going to leave you here, my friends. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. Your viewership is always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.